take a look at the soldy. An old Makita beam planer. A 1805B 240 volt beam planer. Look at the size of that yoke. Nice wide cutter. Blades. Actually planing down. Makes a 3 or 4 inch beam. Nice old machine them. Don't get them on too often. But nice treat when they do come on. This one. Not sure of the year, but she's brave and old. Probably one of the original Japanese ones, maybe. Yeah, Makita Japan. Leeds seen better days. Just an old white cable on it. Not the best. So that's going to need to be replaced. A few stray wires hanging out. She's been left done because she's getting noisy. Right enough, she sounds a wee bit rough. See, she sounds like running. Always hold them off the bench whenever you plug them in. You don't know if the switch is stuck on or not. Definitely bearings anyway. We'll get stuck into this one, get her fixed up again, get it cleaned down. New lead, new grommet, new bearings. Blades should be okay. Yeah, blades are alright. Get rid of the old lead. Probably use a new belt as well. That one's just starting to get a bit damaged. So them ones aren't good. And the armatures aren't good. With a set of brushes as well, they're just about gone. Actually come on just in time. They would have went all the way down to the wire, could have damaged the motor. Rotor. She has an old machine. Twine wrapped windings. You see the wear on them com bars. She's done a fair bit of work. Still running strong. That is a well made armature there. Bearings. Totally shot. This one's dried out. This one's failing completely.
Give it a shaft here, and we tap. And take out your drum. You only want to hit the tap. You only want to hit the center of the shaft for the drum, not the bearing itself. That's gone anyway. That's not that great. Give that a bit clean as well. We'll change them bearings. Change the lead anyway, so we'll pull the handle off. old type switch very reliable switch these They're still readily available as well generally you wouldn't be changing them type of switches very often they were built to last right we'll clean this whole thing down get it all ready to rebuild if you want to go any further with us you have to take the motor running off so take the nameplate off four wee pins and there's three bolts underneath Two bolts under here, that whole motor assembly just pulls away. And the top plate then, the handle, and the top base, that can come away as well. The rest of it then is just one piece of aluminium. Nice machine. We're tidied up here now. Right, that's as far as we really need to or want to go. We'll clean it. Just get all the wee sticky bits off. It'll do the job. This handling place now. Let's set that to one side. Now we just need splitters and pullers to get the bearings off. That one's quite tight. Totally shot. As you can see, she's been cut there before and there. So them bearings had to be cut off before in the past. Didn't let it go that bad this time. Wow, that one did not want to come off, but we got there eventually. Right, the pullers in this one as well. Get these off. And there we go. All four bearings off. So what have we got? They're all NSK bearings. So we're trying to fit NSK where possible. Six two one. 6200, 6201, and another 6200. Well, we've got the 6200s in NSK and the 6201s in FAG. These fan blades, I'm noticing, are actually a wee bit damaged. 
and they're not all centered there's a few high ones and a few low ones I'll just file that there. We tip off as well. Fix it up. Very nice. Easier putting them on than taking them off. Get rid of the old ones. I didn't put on this dust shield. This is just a rubber seal for up here on the armature. This is a steel bearing that was on. Has a dust shield. Didn't fit it again because it's too badly damaged. Plus actually fitted rubber seal bearings which will help keep the dust out and whatever you do do not cross thread these here threads don't have to over tighten it these are left and right hand thread. These will tighten as the machine runs. They don't go on by hand. Go again. Do not force them. Now, ready for reassembly. Ready for the lead. Must be glued on or something. She's stuck. Was glued. I'll be the next grommet onto that. The is going to be connected. It'll be linked straight on. It's only the live. It's actually switching. Okay, we plug, lead, belt, and a set of brushes, I'm not forgetting the grommet.
these screws are actually nut and bolts, not wee screws. These machines used to be solidly put together. Same up here, nut and bolt. That's the cable. Just a wee bearing plate. Stops us bearing the coming out. the rain on out there now. Nice day it is. Lastly, a new belt. One Makita beam planer, new bearings, belts, brushes, all fixed up, ready to go. Should sound a hell of a lot better now. Next up again, ready for another 20 years work. Right lads, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the tool repair videos. And if you like this type of stuff, tool repairs and teardowns, hit like and subscribe there at the bottom. Plenty more of them to come, plenty more on the channel. Big shout out as well to all my current members who are members to the channel, helping support the content. Really appreciate all your help and support lads. Thanks very much for being members. And if you want to become a member, you can have to join membership at the bottom as well to get access to exclusive content and first look videos as well. So, big thanks to everybody. Hope you enjoyed it, lads. Keep watching.